Now the contest master just said love Matt Bunk. <laughs> Did you all hear that over here? Did you yes. hear love Matt Bunk? <laughs> contest master, dignitaries, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. When a distinguished person like Jenny, the contest master says, love Matt Bunk, I recommend that you love Matt Bunk. <laughs> <laughs> love. Love is innocent. Love is exciting. But love is kind of awkward, right? Everybody, nobody's good at it. Now, in the innocence of being 10 years old, I found my first love. It was this little dog, and I remember searching through the classifieds, $100 male chihuahua. <laughs> and this was before Yo Quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> and this was before Paris Hilton and a little purse dog thing. I remember being at that breeder's house, and I swooped down, pick up the last male. And if you've seen Lion King, where the baboon monkey picks up Simba and holds him above the tribe, that was me. I had this five, soon to be five pound dog, Cheech. <laughs> a chihuahua that would change my life. This was my first love. Now, in the excitement of being 16 years old, I'm almost a man now, I found my second love. And this was a car. No, this was a 1987 dark blue Toyota Supra Turbo with a removable top. I mean, if you look at this thing, I mean, like, ladies, beware. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> was there anything better than that first car? I mean, this was your storage unit that could move and go get you in trouble <laughs> on four wheels. Now, I remember going to my driving test. Big moment. And I'm doing great. Flying. a speed contest, right? So I'm going through it. I'm shifting gears, turn signals. Somebody said, don't use a stick shift. That's too complicated. But this was my car. I had to use it. So I pull back in, get out, ready to go get my license. And the guy meets me at the back bumper with this clipboard and pushes it into my stomach a little. OK. <laughs> Failed driving test. Following too close. Speeding. And you ran a red light. 28%. So I absorbed that blow. But I go back the next week, and I get 100%. Yeah. So I have this car that I love. A license now, but it's still incomplete because there's a void in that other seat. I need a girl to sit in that seat. <laughs> now, still in the awkwardness of being 16, I found my third love. And she was sexy. She had a confident voice. And I was 16 coming into my physicality. <laughs> And I remember engineering drawing class. Every day I'd sit there, and she would walk in. And I'd look at those strappy shoes. <laughs> this girl is hot. <laughs> but I never had anything to say. Again, I'm still 16. She's 18. <laughs> but one day, my first words to this girl, my dream woman, was, I'm getting a tattoo. <laughs> 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 Because I thought that's all it took. I thought at that moment she was supposed to turn. They, that's pretty hardcore. You're kind of an outlaw. Yeah. <laughs> but instead, the reaction I got was, OK, little boy, uh, thanks for letting me know <laughs> as she went on with her work. And I'm sitting there going, why the heck did I say tattoo? I could have said anything. I'm getting another dog. I'm getting a Doberman or something. I said, I'm getting a tattoo, so I have two options. I could not get a tattoo. I could kiss her goodbye. 
But I know if I don't get it, I'm either a coward or a liar, neither of which I want. Option two, I can get this tattoo. And if I get it, I gotta show her. And if I show her, I gotta talk to her. And if I speak, she's gonna fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> so, we go to the tattoo parlor. I walk in confident. I want this picture of my dog, Cheech, on my belly. <laughs> and the tattoo artist back up, he said, are you sure? I mean, see, he didn't know. He didn't know what was at stake. And I remember laying there, and every time that little needle hit my rib, I almost started crying. And my mom, she's sitting here going, I gave you perfect skin. <laughs> and you want to do this? <laughs> Regardless, that next Monday, I walked into that classroom like an astronaut returning from the moon. Boom. Hey, check this out. And she still wasn't impressed. <laughs> but she said yes. She said yes to go on a date with me. 16 years old. I don't have much money. So I remember this date. We were in my super. Sun was blazing. The top was off. Wendy's drive through <laughs> <laughs> Telling a romantic tale here. <laughs> we creep up to the window, and what happens at a drive thru when, when you're with somebody else? They gotta lean over you a little bit, right? So I'm sitting there like this, and she says the sexiest poem I've ever heard. It said, cheeseburger, extra pickle, frosty fry with a side of ranch. Thank you. <laughs> This girl can talk in poems. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was 18 years ago. And a lot of things have changed. See, I used to have an 87 Supra. I now have a 1988. I mean, I've upgraded my life. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but that girl that's sitting in that seat is the same girl. So love is innocence, right? It's excitement, and it's awkward, but it's complete. Adam Toastmaster. <laughs>